Hi and welcome back to another video and today we are talking about PowerPoint and how you can overlay text on an image. I'm going to show you um, a couple of different things as well. So how to obviously just have a text box over your image, um, how to use artwork, um, word art over your image and also how to subtract your um, text from a shape so you can see the image um, coming through the words that you have typed. Um, so these are, are quite fun um, ways to basically make your presentations come alive a little bit more. Um, so if you do find it useful please do click on the like button, hit subscribe, um, it means a lot to the channel and let's jump on over to a PowerPoint. Okay so here we are um, and all I've done here so far is actually drop a image onto one of my slides and what I would like to do is um, basically start to add some text to this particular slide here um, and it's quite easy to do. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to the ribbon and click on insert just at the top here and then head over to the um, text box. Give that a click um, and then we can basically drag a text box onto the page and then we can just start um, this is text just typing directly onto the image. Um, with this um, text box we can obviously change the font um, to something different, we can change the font size, um, we can change the font color um, etc and it's all managed um, directly from um, this uh, font control box uh, on the ribbon, it was just on the home tab. Um, so we can choose all these various different options from here, we can even choose a specific um, color directly from um, the picture itself. Okay, so that's the first thing that you can do. And now obviously if um, your text is actually not showing um, correctly, so for example, if I remove this image and paste this image, now the image is actually on top of the text. What you wanna do is you wanna right click the image and then just send it backwards or send it to the back of the slide. Um, over here, you obviously you have the design ideas as well. So it will, um, PowerPoint will also give you some presentation ideas on what um, it thinks might look better. So if I click on this particular um, slide here, it's updated our slide automatically to the specific, specific um, design elements that it has worked out for us. So that's the first thing um, that we can do. I'm just going to close that down and have a look at this here. So here is our text box and here is our image. So that's the first thing. If we go back to the insert tab, we obviously have word art over here on the um, text section. From here, I can choose word art. And again, just like a text box, um, let me just go back into word art. Um, I can say this is um, text. And what I can do is just treat this like um, any other regular kind of text box, except you have um, some different styling that you can do. Okay. Um, so you can have all of this kind of styling going on. So I'm just going to keep the standard there and then um, but you, you can obviously play around with however you want that to look. And the next thing I'm going to show you is actually how we would have this image come in through as the background of our text or our text fill to become um, the image. Um, so this is um, something that obviously people tend to actually like quite a lot. So what you do is it first of all create some word art um, to start with. And I'm just going to um, basically select this word out that we've already created um, and turn it into bold. I'm then going to make it slightly bigger. So I'm going to go um, up to here and I might just um, change this to say explore in capitals um, like so. And I can make this text box bigger um, and I might actually go super big with the text. Uh, just make that enough to fill the entire page like so. Okay, so now we have, we have um, this and what I'm going to do is create um, a shape and the shape is going to be a rectangle and the rectangle is going to fill the entire page. Okay, the entire slide is now this rectangle. We'll make sure that that fills correctly um, just by expanding. Okay, and I'm just going to send this backwards one place. So now we have our word art on top of our um, image here. And what I can do is just make sure that, that is dead center. What I do uh, is select the background and then using the control key, select the um, word art. From here, you want to navigate over to the um, shape format um, tab and then merge shapes. 
and from the little drop down menu here we want to select the subtract and what that's now done is uh, basically cut out the word explore from our shape um, and then underneath there we can see the image okay so now we have the image coming through um, our shape so the other thing that I just want to do here is actually just resize um, this image a little bit so that um, you can see more of it through our um, shape there um, and now I can obviously change the color um, and the style of our particular um, rectangle as well so there's lots of different and fun things that we can do um, with PowerPoint in the ways of kind of jazzing up our slides making them more um, interesting etc um, so yeah do have fun with that but those are the different methods that I had for you on how to overlay um, text on your images how to use text boxes word art and then finally how to have your images showing through your text if you found this useful please do click on the like button hit subscribe and tap that bell it means a lot to the channel and i'll catch you guys in the next video